Wee! We back. Today's main goal is chaos. This is the supercharger build from last video, and I asked you when you when we had this thing fail, should we try to should we try to improve the motor mount to run this thing full bore? And a few of you said yes. So that is the goal today. We're gonna replace the front mount with something else I have here, and uh, we're gonna try to send it to the moon. We're gonna take the SpaceX type approach to this uh, this build. We're gonna fix this part. We're gonna try to full send it. Whatever breaks next, we're gonna fix that. So on and so on until we get something that's either completely gone or functional. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare, is a place to keep you learning. Now, normally the stuff that I watch on Skillshare revolves around how can I improve my YouTube channel? And this time it's no different. One of the newest classes offered on Skillshare is one put together by Marquez Brownlee called YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. In this class, Marquez walks you through his process of how he goes about creating his YouTube videos. So if YouTube is something that you're thinking about getting into, or maybe you already have a channel and you're looking for ways that you can improve it, YouTube success with MKBHD will be a great place to start. And for the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description below, you'll get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So here's our version one setup. For the motor mount, uh, I've gone away from this integrated standoff type mount with a direct drive uh, castle motor. And instead I built these beefy little legs that I've already put inserts in and the motor is now mounted on this plate that's gonna be on top. And these little slots that I have are gonna give us adjustability for the belt drive. Cause a lot of you said, where's the belt? So today we have a little tiny belt. And the idea here is I've reprinted the gears. They're gonna go in like so, motor on top. So the motor drives this pulley which turns this gear, which turns the other gear. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, that feels much better. And we should get some spinning now. It's a little bump to see if we're going in the right direction. <laughs> Let's send it. All right, place your bets. What piece fails next? So I put a new belt on there. Hopefully it's a little bit better than the last one. If it still fails, I guess we'll try to go in a different direction. So let's see how it works. Nope. So the belt drive's gone. What I've done now is I've taken just the normal Traxxas spur gear that I was using with the car and I made a gear that made it up to it. And those are now interlocked together. The only, pro the only difference is, is now we're not one to one. It's more like a 0.52 to one. So we'll see if we can hold up with that. Isn't that how it always works? You try all these, you try all this fancy stuff. We have a belt drive, that didn't work. We tried this gear train, that didn't work. And then we just end up going back to what we had before, like a spline drive, and, but this time instead of printing a spline for the motor, so it doesn't fly across the room and try to kill me, I just used the, uh, the normal spur gear that I had on this RC car, and I just printed a coupler that it could slide into. And that seems to work perfect. It sounds really cool, I'm not, I won't lie to you. I tried to put the microphone somewhat near it. I uh, hope you could hear it kind of. The best part though is I put all these gears and stuff and like a screwdriver underneath it. And I was like, if, it, if it's moving any air, we'll be able to kind of see stuff wiggle. And it just blew it away. So we know that it's moving some sort of airflow, at least more than it was. Now that we got it kind of running, uh, I put a fresh battery in here. Another thing, surprise nothing else broke. That's the craziest part that this thing is ripping along, making all this noise and air. And it's still in one piece, surprisingly. But now that it is, what we're gonna do, new battery. And uh, I'm gonna put a target on one of these gears. We're gonna see how fast those uh, impellers are spinning, just to kind of get an idea. I'll try to find a happy place for it. The biggest problem is, is that it takes so much oomph to spin these two rotors, a lot more than this motor is kind of normally doing with these little wheels, that it kind of revs up real fast and then it starts kind of dipping down as I assume, I mean, these are really old lipos too, that it just had, doesn't have the energy to maintain that kind of torque or some other issue could be happening, but I can try to find the good happy spot. We'll find out how many RPMs that is, and we'll see how much air it's pushing out. Whew. 
hoo, 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 scary. <laughs> that got close to 7,000 RPMs. I think I was like 68 and some change, but very impressive that this thing just handles it without, without breaking. The biggest issue in this whole setup is the fact that we're running off batteries. Just pulling that much power out of these old LiPos just drains them so quickly so we can't like sustain high speeds for a long period of time. And the, the power supply that I have doesn't have the output to kick this thing over at max RPM at all. I can barely even turn it over. If you know of a power supply that I could hook up to this uh, ESC and run this castle full bore, let me know because I'll buy that in 15 seconds so we can run all the experience we want without having to worry about LiPos. But the other, li the other LiPo is uh, now charging. So now that we see this thing can handle all those RPMs and it just does work, which is crazy to me, we're gonna put it on the uh, wind tunnel and see how much air it's actually pushing through with a, with a topped up battery because this, is, this, is, this thing's kind of crazy. Sounds like a, it reminds me of like a, like a 350Z with exhaust. Like that's the kind of sound. It's got that V6 sound to me. I don't know if it sounds like that on the microphone, but it was pretty sweet. All right, keep your eyes peeled. We're not gonna be able to maintain max speed for long, so we'll see what it jumps up to. did it oh, over 1,000 feet per minute of airflow, which is the most we've ever seen on this channel, at least. Uh, the, the T30 was like 954. We were just a hair over 1,000 for a split second, but we did it. And uh, I'm actually just completely blown away, uh, blown away by this thing. I for sure thought we were gonna start this video, figure out a way to push all the juice we could into this motor and it was just gonna blow a gear up or break the casing or a rotor was gonna go to space but it tanked all that damage and it's, it's still functioning well. There's nothing rubbing, it's mind blowing. And I think there's more in there. There's more potential to be unlocked uh, given that, I mean, this battery is warm. It's, it's doing the best it can and it's just not good enough. This is only a 20C, 4,000 milliamp hour battery and this motor could eat up a lot more power and I just don't have any way to give it to you. So if you know of a, what I would like to have is an adjustable power supply so I could tone in the voltage that could put out enough amperage that it could get this thing up and running to its max potential. I don't know if that kind of power supply exists, but I'm sure one of you out there know if it does. And if you tell me what it is, I will purchase it and we'll send this thing past the moon. We're going to Mars now. We're going, we're going crazy because this thing can just handle it. So I hope you weren't disappointed in this video because I, like you, expected this thing to just grenade. And here we are wanting more. So. Let me know in the comment section down below what else you want me to do with this. Let me know if you know of a power supply that can push this thing past Mars to Jupiter to Saturn because we're going there. <laughs> this is insane. Till next time.